Hello everyone, in today's session we'll be learning how to compose a sheet and take a printout of this on AutoCAD. To start off with, I have a residence plan over here of three floors and we'll be seeing how to take a print of this. Firstly, we are working in our model space. So now to create a sheet and take a printout of this, go to your layout space. So come to the bottom left of your AutoCAD interface and you will see layout one. So just click on layout one and you will end up in this interface over here, which is your layout one. So the black rectangle, what you see is the size of your sheet and the blue line, what you can see over here is called the viewport. So viewport is one such element in your AutoCAD, which helps you to see the drawings in your model space from your layout space. So to start off with, firstly, select your viewport and then delete the viewport. Okay. So once you are done with this, here we'll be setting the size of the sheet. To change the size of your sheet, type in page setup and then give enter. So here in your page setup manager, choose the layout and then click on modify. Once you click on modify, you will come up to this tab over here which says page setup layout one. Here. Go and choose the printer and plotter option and choose the drawing to PDF option. After that, come down to your paper size, choose the drop down option and then choose your ISO full bleed sheets of your desired paper size. So here I'll be choosing a A1 size sheet which is in landscape. So I'll be choosing ISO full bleed A1 841 cross 594. So once you have selected the sheet size, just click on OK and here close the page setup manager. So now you can see that the sheet size is being changed. So this is the first step. And now the second step is to compose your sheet template. To start off with your sheet template, use your drawing tools and your modifying tools and create your own sheet template. So here I'll be using my line tool. And firstly, creating the sheet boundary. And once this is done, I'll just use my offset command. So here, say I offset for three units for the title block. And once I've uh, created my title block, I'll then go and create the partitions to enter the details over here. The first partition to enter the project details and then the door window schedule and the north sign and the company details so by doing this you will create your sheet template and now you can see that the sheet template is ready with all my details the next step over here is to add a viewport the shortcut to add a viewport is tap in viewports and then give enter so here in your viewports tab, choose the type of viewport. So here you have different types of viewports from single to three to four. You can choose the number of viewports you want to place. So for now, I'll be choosing a single viewport and then hit on OK. So once I do that, I'll have to specify the corner points to place my viewport. So I'll start from the corner of the sheet to the right bottom. And now my viewport is placed. So as soon as I place my viewport, I'll be able to see all my drawings in my model space. Now, all you have to do is go inside your viewport and set the scale for your drawing. So here I just double click inside my viewport to enter the model space and zoom into the drawing and set the scale for this. So to set the scale for this drawing, basically you come out to this lower ribbon over here and you have your scale option. Click on the list and here you will choose the scale. So here again, if you don't have the desired scale, you go and create your own scale. So to create your own scale, go down to the custom option. And in your edit drawing scales, choose the add option. And here you will enter the name appearing in the scale list. So I'll create a scale of say one is to thousand. And that is the name which will be appearing in my scale list. And now to change the scale properties, I go down to this paper units and the paper units should always be one. 
and you change your drawing units based on scale you want to create. So I want to create a 1 is to 1000 scale. So I'll change my drawing units to 1000 and then click OK. And here I'll give OK again. So now when you go and click on your scale list, you will be able to see your 1 is to 1000 scale. So just click on your 1 is to 1000 scale and you can see that the drawing will get adjusted to that particular scale. So here again, 1 is to 1000 scale is too small. So I'll have to increase the scale of this in order to see all three flow plans. So I'll just click on the same scale list again and choose custom option. Here I'll be adding a new scale of 1 is to 1200. So the name appearing in the list will be 1 is to 1200. And the paper units will remain 1 and the drawing units will now be changed to 1200 and I click on OK. And here again I just give OK and choose the scale list again and you will see your new scale which is 1 is to 1200. You just click on your 1 is to 1200 and now you use your pan tool and set the drawing to the center of your sheet over here and then double click outside. So here again if you just zoom in and zoom out inside your viewports there are chances of changing the scale. So I just zoomed out and now you can see that the scale has been changed. So I'll have to go and change the scale again to 1200 and set the drawing using my pan tool and lock the scale over here. So once you lock the scale, even if you zoom in and zoom out, the scale will not be changed. So you will have to double click up and now your sheet is composed and the drawing is to scale. So all you have to do now is take a printout of this. So here again to take a printout or say to convert the drawing into a PDF, all you have to do is just type in control P and in your plot table over here, just go down to your plot style table option, choose the plot style you want to take a printout in and after that choose your plot options. So I'll choose my plot object line weights, plot with transparency and plot with plot styles and not change any of these settings because my sheet size and the printer or plotter is already set. All I have to do now is just take a preview of this and check my drawing in the preview and give escape and then give on OK. So here again, I'll be able to save the drawing. So just choose a location and then say save the drawing into a PDF. So once the drawing is save you will be able to use your PDF. So now you can see the PDF which is being created. So now we saw how to convert a drawing into a PDF. So say now you want to directly take a printout from your AutoCAD. You do the same settings as in like the sheet template and setting the scale and everything and when you type in control P here instead of your drawing to PDF option, you will go down and choose the printer you want to take a print from and then see the preview and click on OK, you will get a printout. So this is how you compose sheets on AutoCAD and take a printout of this. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel to see more. Thank you.